been life changing. My life is not the same and it never will be. It's been more than a year since 44 year old Jolene Valick tested positive for COVID-19 and still she does not feel like herself. I couldn't. I was having trouble with conversations and more findings. Um, right now I forgot what questions you asked me. She is one of the many post COVID patients suffering from lingering symptoms, not just physically, but also mentally. The amount of anxiety that I have is sometimes crippling and it wasn't like that before. Um, and I got very depressed too. Vanek says she tried to return to her job and eventually realized she could not do it any longer. She started looking for help, but says that was difficult when she didn't understand what was happening with her. I don't look sick. And I guess that's hard because not only do the people in your life think like what's wrong with you, but when you go to doctors, your tests are normal. You're dismissed. That is until she found Dr. Kathleen Haggerty at the Watson Clinic in Lakeland. She has 33 years of experience as an internal medicine physician, and now she runs one of three post COVID clinics in the state. I thought when I found out about long COVID that it was really mysterious. It was totally brand new, and there was absolutely no reason that I could not become an expert on it. Hundreds of patients have traveled from all across the country for appointments with Dr. Haggerty. Many are desperate for help and for answers. Their experience of the condition is horrifying because they're experiencing a disease that has never been experienced in the history of mankind previously and no one knows how to help it. Dr. Haggerty sees adults of all ages, some who were sick in the ICU with COVID and others who had more mild symptoms. And even after COVID has gone from their bodies, other symptoms continue. Everything from shortness of breath, headaches, fatigue, brain fog, anxiety and depression and much more. These people are suffering immensely. They're not able to work. They're dying to do their work. They want to feed their families. According to a recent study published in the journal JAMA Network Open, almost 25% of COVID patients treated at Mount Sinai Health System experience some brain fog after recovering from the illness. The study reports people having problems with speed processing, memory, and difficulty concentrating. Dr. Haggerty says for all patients, the symptoms seem to respond best with one specific treatment, time and rest. She says to think of a patient's previous energy levels similar to an A battery. And now suddenly they find themselves as a double A battery. And of course, they don't understand this, and they're still trying to fit everything that they used to do into this AA battery. Jolene Vanek says she is already seeing improvements after just one appointment with Dr. Haggerty. And most of all, she says the clinic is giving her hope. It helps you regain a little bit of self, self esteem almost, to feel like it's okay to slow down. It's okay to not be what you were before. It's okay to, you know, take a step back, try to treat the problems. Well, Dr. Haggerty says most patients seem to recover with time, which could take anywhere from a few months to more than a year, depending on the patient. She also expects post COVID to be a problem patients deal with for a long time. She expects another wave of patients in the next few months.